Hello, everybody. Uh, benvenuto. Uh, I want to welcome uh, Prime Minister Monti uh, to the White House for his first visit. Uh, I had the opportunity to congratulate him uh, after he took on uh, the extraordinary responsibilities uh, that he has accepted. Uh, I, I want to begin by uh, saying that it's nice to be able to return the hospitality of the Italian people. Uh, every time I've been to Rome, La Guila, uh, the warmth, that has been extended not just to me, but to my family has been uh, extraordinary. And uh, you know, obviously, we have a deep and special connection uh, with the Italian people. Uh, the Italian American community here in the United States uh, has had as much of an impact as, uh, as any group uh, within our country. Uh, I personally cannot claim uh, Italian ancestry, uh, although my name ends in the vowel, so sometimes I try to uh, pretend. Um, you know, the Prime Minister came in at a very difficult time in uh, Italian uh, politics and uh, the Italian economy. And I just want to say how much we appreciate the strong start uh, that he has uh, embarked on and the very effective measures that he is promoting uh, inside of Italy. Uh, you've already seen, because of his stewardship, uh, and his experience uh, and his uh, knowledge of economics, uh, that not only has he boosted confidence within Italy about uh, a reform agenda, but he, he's also been able to generate uh, confidence uh, throughout Europe and in the marketplace, uh, that Italy has a plan uh, that uh, takes seriously uh, its fiscal responsibilities, uh, but also emphasizes the need for structural reforms that can promote growth. Uh, and so uh, one of the topics of our conversation, obviously, was uh, my uh, continuing to encourage uh, the uh, fine work that has already been done by the Prime Minister uh, and to express uh, our interest in doing whatever we can do to help uh, stabilize uh, the situation in the Eurozone, uh, including uh, something that we both agree on, which is the need for uh, a stronger European firewall uh, that will allow uh, for a, a more stable uh, path for uh, repayment of debt, but also uh, the promotion of a growth strategy uh, within Europe, uh, which is obviously important not only to uh, Europe but the entire world economy and to our economy uh, back here in the United States of America. In addition to all the burdens that he has uh, economically, uh, Prime Minister Monti also uh, is the leader of one of our most important uh, friends and allies when it comes to security issues. Uh, so uh, I emphasize to him how much we appreciate uh, the sacrifices and outstanding work that are made by Italian forces in Afghanistan. And we have reaffirmed uh, our commitment to uh, the Lisbon schedule in which we transition uh, to uh, full Afghan lead uh, by the end of 2014. Uh, I emphasize the fact that uh, we could not have been successful in our Libya campaign without the extraordinary contributions of our Italian partners. Uh, and we uh, both expressed uh, our interest in working with the transitional government there uh, to create a, a, a stable pathway towards uh, democracy and economic prosperity. Uh, we discussed uh, the extraordinary efforts that uh, Italian forces have taken uh, in Kosovo uh, to continue to maintain the, the peace there and to deal with uh, ongoing tensions. Uh, and we uh, discussed the, a wide range of uh, diplomatic uh, concerns, including the situation in Syria, where we both have a great interest in ending uh, the outrageous uh, bloodshed that we've seen uh, and seeing a, a transition uh, from uh, the current government uh, that uh, has been assaulting its people. Uh, we also discussed how we can continue to encourage uh, a peaceful uh, and effective uh, transition uh, elsewhere in the Middle East. And we discussed the situation in Iran. And uh, I thanked uh, Italy for its participation in a strong sanctions regime. We also both said that we would work as hard as we can to find a diplomatic resolution uh, to that very difficult situation. Uh, so uh, overall, uh, you know, I think that 
the relationship between Italy and the United States has never been stronger. Uh, I personally have great confidence in uh, the Prime Minister's leadership and uh, his ability to navigate Italy through this difficult time uh, and uh, to stabilize the economic situation there and then uh, put it on a footing so that it can grow uh, and prosper over the long term. Uh, and I know given the extraordinary talents and gifts of the Italian people uh, that uh, with these structural reforms there's no reason why uh, the future for Italy will, uh, should not be extraordinarily bright. So, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Uh, we thank you very much for your friendship uh, and we wish you uh, the very best uh, in the months to come. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you so much for uh, having me today at the White House. It is a great privilege and an honor to have the first meeting with you after our telephone conversation and uh, to hear directly from you your vision about uh, world affairs and in particular the economic uh, cooperation and the common challenges that the U.S. and uh, the European Union and within it Italy um, have uh, to tackle. The meeting with the President uh, has been uh, uh, ranging uh, through a number of topics, as uh, the President himself just mentioned. We, uh, of course, devoted particular attention to the efforts going on in uh, Italy. And uh, um, I do wish to uh, warmly thank uh, the President for his uh, generous and supportive words which uh, in itself are an encouragement uh, for my government to persist along uh, these lines. And I'm glad to say the lines towards budgetary consolidation and structural reforms, however painful they may be in the short term, seem to be widely understood by the Italian public opinion. And I think this is a good basis for also the future of the country and whatever uh, will be there after the uh, time-limited uh, duration of the current government. Uh, with President Obama, we uh, went through uh, the interactions that exist in Europe between the efforts by any particular member state and the overall governance of the European Union. Uh, I found in him a, a deep uh, interest and can I also say thorough knowledge of these intricate mechanisms of us, the Europeans. And uh, uh, we uh, agreed on uh, the strategy in order for Europe to consolidate its uh, uh, budgetary position, to cope with the financial tensions, and in particular, you heard uh, the President mention the importance of adequate firewalls, um, and also the imperative of growth a growth which uh, um, can uh, only come, uh, particularly in Europe, uh, from uh, structural transformations given more role to uh, productivity, enhanced uh, uh, efficiency, and uh, uh, I think uh, the U.S. Is a, is a very good case in point, providing examples on the benefits of uh, well-functioning markets. And of course, the US is the living example of what a single market can provide in terms of growth. And this explains why in Europe, Italy is so insisting, uh, finding more and more uh, audience uh, among the other member states on the fact that Europe's programs for growth should rely heavily on an enhanced uh, effort for the single market. Um, I will not go through the various points concerning the, the strategic agenda uh, in the area of security that uh, the U.S. and Italy share. Um, I uh, confirmed uh, the firm willingness of Italy to, to play its role within this uh, uh, alliance, which is a strategic alliance, but which is, uh, first of all, an alliance of uh, values, common values that we defend. And uh, uh, I promised uh, to <coughs> President Obama the uh, renewed intention of Italy to provide uh, 
uh, not only the necessary resources and uh, women and men for, for these uh, tasks, but also the knowledge uh, and expertise that Italy uh, may have uh, as regards particularly some uh, countries in the Mediterranean and the Middle Eastern region due, due to uh, geographic and historical links. So uh, we are, um, Mr. President, and I personally am very encouraged <coughs> by this uh, thorough exchange of views. It was difficult to identify points uh, where um, there isn't agreement, but it was easy to identify points, first and foremost, economic growth, where we have common views, but uh, we need to step up uh, joint actions in order for our wishes to become a reality. And uh, finally, if I may conclude with a sentence in Italian, Mr. President, um, sono consapevole della grande importanza, il Presidente ha voluto ricordarlo, della comunità italo-americana nella storia di questo Paese, nel presente e sono sicuro nel futuro di questo Paese. Questa relazione è di grandissima importanza anche per l'Italia e tutti i progressi che nel Paese potremo fare per rendere l'Italia più moderna, più stabile, più solida economicamente e più orientata alla crescita, spero avranno anche l'effetto di rendere ogni cittadino italiano o italo-americano residente in Italia o negli Stati Uniti più orgoglioso di questa sua componente di italianità. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much. And I, I apologize, I forgot my translation uh, during my long speech, but uh, rather than try to repeat it now, if anybody needs a translation, uh, we've got the translator right here. So thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you so much.